Hello everybody, I'm Borothea from Borothea Gaming and welcome to Super Amazing Wagon Adventure Turbo. Don't know what this game is about. Don't know at all. Bought it on Steam. Don't know. Start an adventure. Between 1830 and 1870, nearly half a million Americans migrated west over wagon trails. This is the story of one of three, one party of three in their adventure. I'm going to do my friends and me. Because this is, oh no, that's not. No, this, those are my friends. Those are my. Uh, those are my friends. But those are like my real friends, you know. So we'll do me. No, no. K set. Set. There we go. I am a man. I am a. Oh God. Oh, who am I? I'm something else. Okay. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got those shades on. Got a sick... Oh, can I be Heisenberg? I'm going to be Heisenberg. There we go. Okay, next party member. His name is Jonah. You might know him as uh, Zafaros Gaming. Jonah was a fine gentleman. Jonah was a uh, Dr. Brain from Half-Life. Final character, Xavier. You may know him as Panda Boulder Guys, because he hasn't put any videos up yet. But that's not my problem. Xavier was a fine gentleman. Uh, Xavier's, uh, Jesus. Yep, that's us. Uh, Heisenberg, Dr. Breen, and Jesus. They traveled in their trusty wagon. The standard, completely average. The fantasy, magical. Invisible, blah, 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 They set off into the forest, day one. All right, here we go. I, yep. Oh, okay. That's what I used to shoot. Seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, they hurried up ahead. They needed to stock up on food for the long journey. This, <laughs> this is on day eight. If you guys didn't notice. Yeah. Yeah. Killing those animals, baby. I love killing innocent. A posse of bandits interrupted the hunt. Love killing innocent animals. One of my favorite pastimes, actually. Oh, that was close. Oh, oh no, I killed a horse. Okay, got him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, oh, missed. Uh, there we go. Uh, 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 got him. We're good. No! Oh, uh, Jesus, no! Literally. Okay. Got him. Come on. Got him. Go! Okay, some of the bandits could actually aim. Oh, shoot, we're in trouble. Oh, that was close. Okay, there we go. Oh, no! Oh, okay, Dr. Breen. Dr. Breen got another life. No, Dr. Breen! Just lost another life. Come on, get him! Come on! Yeah, there we go. No! Heisenberg's gone! No! Dr. Breen! Day 9, Xavier left the wagon to look for wild berries. Good job, Xavier. Thanks. On his way back to, the, uh, back to the wagon, Xavier noticed an entrance to a cave. He decided to investigate. Let's go into that damn cave, shall we? It was very dark inside. It's a cave. Upon lighting a torch, he found it was filled with giant spiders. Jesus! 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 Hasta la vista! Uh, Xavier ran back. To the cave from the uh, day 15, they ate a really good meal of grits and deer sausage. Oh, sorry. Jesus. They reached a river crossing. Seth had the brilliant idea to try and jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. I'm a freaking genius. I'm a freaking genius. Let's let's jump. I have a really good feeling about this. Let's jump. They got a running start and leapt from the top of the ledge. Somehow they made it across. However, they landed in a bee's nest, angering the swarm. Oh no. Oh no! Oh. Just, oh god. Shall I make a Nicolas Cage joke? One regarding a film about bees? Such as, not the bees! Uh, day 22, they entered into the Great Plain. Oh, sick music. Sick music. Day 214748. Something is incredibly wrong here. Sorry, Dr. Breen, you uh, lost the life there. Yeah, uh, okay, uh... Oh, okay, okay. We're not gonna lose you, Jesus. Oh, we're probably gonna lose you, Jesus. Oh, okay. 
I'm sorry if we lose you, Jesus. Ever unhandled exception. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much normal. Get him, get him, get him. Don't know what I'm shooting at. Don't know what I'm shooting at. Don't want, really don't want to know, actually. Just get him. Don't the fire. Jesus is gone. I repeat, Jesus is gone. Man down, man down. I guess we're, oh, no, Dr. Breen! Dr. Breen, no! Oh, thank God. I unlocked the glitch. We lost Jesus. Day 30, they came across the fur trader. Uh, the fur trader offered them supplies in exchange for animal hides. Damn it, okay. There was a tornado. Whoa, oh, the wagon was picked up by the tornado. Freaking great. I love being in a tornado 24-7. Along with some bubble. Really, you gotta be kidding me. How am I supposed to survive this? No, there was a heart there. Dr. Breen. Dr. Breen, we would not be making it out of this tornado, this buffalo tornado alive. No, no. Come on, Dr. Breen. You can make it. You can make it. No, Dr. Breen, please. Please. No! The buffalo was surprising the elegant as it flew in through the surprise and No. Party journey ended there. The wagon was game over. I suggest we play one more. The tree nature could have some native that haven't any American Uh yeah, seems pretty alright. I'm still Heisenberg. He's still Jesus. Uh, he's still Dr. Braid. They traveled in the trusty wagon. Let's try the glitch. Yes, the glitch. They set off into the forest. Beautiful. Seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, they hurried ahead. They needed to stock up on food for the long journey. Frickin' glitch them. Glitch them to death. Yeah. Okay, so apparently I can't gather food while I'm in the glitch. Because it just disintegrates them. A bossy of bandits interrupt the hunt. Stupid bandits. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Come at me, bro! Got myself a laser. A machine gun ban uh, armed bandit wagon arrived. Get him. Okay, that's good. I didn't I didn't need the help, but you know, anything. Okay, day 13, Xavier left the wagon and found some edible mushrooms. Don't do it, man! This is bad. Xavier ate one of the mushrooms on the way back to the wagon. He felt funny! Oh more. Xavier battled his inner demons. Yeah, the inner demons will perish! Get those inner demons, Xavier! Hurry up on uh, killing those evil uh, inner demons. Painful memories bounced around his head. Oh boy. Yeah, this is uh. I don't know if this is good or bad. I honestly uh. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, d d Jesus. Okay, Jesus, I'm, I'm saving you. Saving you. Hours later, Xavier returned to realty, reality, and the wagon. The invisible. Day 19, they reached a river crossing. Who has the brilliant idea to jump over it this time? Jonah had the brilliant idea to try to jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. Well, we never listened to Jonah, so let's, uh, let's, uh, ford it. Uh, no, let's jump. They got a running start and leapt from the top of the ledge. Way to go, Jonah. They only made it halfway across the river. They landed in the middle of rap rap Screw you! No! Uh, Jonah! Damn it! There was a pirate ship blocking their progress! Finally, eventually, finally, they reached the other side of the river. After fighting a pirate ship, they entered into the Great Plains. They came across a large herd of buffalo. This large herd of buffalo. Oh, okay. That's too many buffalo. 
Hey, Jesus lost a life, but I got one back. Thank you, Jesus. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Day 42. Yeah. These buffalo know what's up. Get it. Get it. Take it. Yeah. Sorry, Jesus. I'm sorry. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. Dang it. Forgive me, Jesus, for I have repented. Good. Good. Yes. Oh no, I just saw that. I just saw health. The first raider offered them supplies in exchange for animal hides. Oh, we can get one. And it healed Jesus. Thank you, Jesus! They heard distant gun- oh, okay. They heard distant gunshots, not like- Someone might need their help, but turn it over they could ignore the gunshots and continue on. Let's investigate, shall we? Riding towards the gunshot- riding towards the gunshots, they heard some bandits were robbing a train. They rode- oh, the train! Bandits fired down the wagon- down on the wa whoa, okay. Am I just supposed to dodge this, or- I think I'm just supposed to dodge this. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh- no, oh, damn. Sorry, Jesus. I didn't mean to get you shot. Alright. Some bandits on the horse on horseback notice the wagon too. Kill the bandits on horseback. This is an amazing battle. A machine gun armed bandit wagon arrived. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Jonah died a slow and lingering s Oh man, I'm sorry. Sorry, Dr. Green. Oh, as a reward for saving the train, the conductor gave them 100 animal hides. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We are so dead. Xavier accidentally got some food in the... the uh, 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 oh. Xavier noticed a strange smell coming from a nearby camp. He decided to investigate. Oh, Jesus! Xavier felt sick. Don't die on me! Don't, please don't. Xavier saw an antique pistol sitting near the camp. He picked it up on his way back for the, to the wagon. On his way back to the wagon, Xavier heard a noise coming from the tall grass. What the, what the, what are you? It was a diseased monkey. Yep. Diseased monkey. You need to die. You all need to die. All y'all's diseased monkeys. Is he ran back to the wagon and they left in a hurry? Some hurry, Jesus. Oh, Seth felt sick. No! The diseased monkeys continue to attack. Where are they? Oh, oh, oh! Where, where are the- No, oh, no! A disease monkey gave Xavier a hug. Oh, I'm sorry! Oh! Yeah, yeah! Yes! Heisenberg for the win. After Seth had rested, Seth decided to test out the antique pistol on a buffalo herd. Very effective. Can I pick up the animal hide still, though? I can. Yes. 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 This is what I need. Impressed by its ability, Seth decided Where to keep using this one. You unlocked the disease. Seth reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Go under. Seth had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, Seth could go around through a desert path. I'm pretty smart. Seth took a deep breath and then jumped in. Seth faced deadly piranhas. Not with my poison gun. Not with my poison gun, I didn't. How do you feel about that, stupid foish? 
you stupid boy Ronas. You want the boss of me. And angry narwhals. Oh, that's that might be bad. Angry narwhals are bad. Oh no. I killed the narwhal! Oh, there was a health right there. A giant squid blocked Seth's path. Seth was killed by Squid Ink. The party's journey ended there in the midst of blood and Squid Ink. Alright everybody, well that was Super Amazing Wagon Adventure Turbo. If you liked the video, click that like button and subscribe for more horrible content such as this video. Actually, you know what? This video, this video is just fine. As always, I'm Borothea from Borothea Gaming, and I will see you in the next episode. And on the flip side, I'm sorry, I forgot to say that.